Hi, I'm Ms. Bagwell. My name is Kate Darnell, and I'm the nurse practitioner who will be taking care of you today. Uh, I'm affiliated with Auburn University, and we're going to be doing your head-to-toe physical assessment today. How are you feeling? I'm good. Okay, good. Well, I know we already got your height and your weight, your vital signs, your BMI outside the room. Everything looked good. Uh, we also checked your visual acuity. It was 20-20 in both eyes without corrections. You'll be glad to know that's normal. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick general inspection of your appearance. You're well-developed, well-nourished, your skin is soft, intact, dry, and normal for ethnicity. I'm going to go ahead and look at your head, look for any obvious lesions or deformities. Okay, I'll feel your hair, it's soft and well-groomed. I'm going to go ahead and feel your scalp for any abnormalities. Tell me if you feel any tenderness. Everything feel okay? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go ahead and feel your sinuses as well. Tell me if you feel any tenderness. How's that feel? It's all good. All right, good. I'm going to place my hands here. I want you to open and close your mouth for me. Any pain? Mm -mm. All right, no clicking, so no TMJ. That's what we're looking for. All right, so I'm going to test your nostrils, patency of your nares. Go ahead and breathe in for me. Very good. Excellent. In just a moment, I'm going to grab my soap. Just gonna look inside your nose. If you go ahead and tilt your chin up, look at the ceiling for me. Excellent. So I'm looking at your turbinates, which is the tissue up inside your nose. It's pink and moist, which is normal. No septal deviation. Your nerves are patent. You can breathe it on both sides. Any pain? No. Excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and look at your ears now. We're gonna feel the outer auricle. No lesions or deformities. Any tenderness? No. Okay. Go ahead and look inside your ear. So your ear canal is clear. No impaction, erythema. Your tympanic membrane is pearly gray, which is normal. All landmarks visualized. I'm going to check the other side. Any pain or tenderness? Excellent. All right, tympanic membrane is pearly gray on this side as well. All landmarks visualized. A small amount of brown cerumen in your ear canal, so you just got a bit of earwax. All right, I'm going to look in your mouth real quick. So go ahead and open wide for me. Excellent. So oral mucosa is pink and moist. Dentition is normal. No cavities, no lesions. Go ahead and lift your tongue for me. I'm going to look underneath. Excellent. No erythema in the throat. Go ahead and stick out your tongue. Alright, no tonsillar enlargement. Uvula is midline. Alright, go ahead and close your mouth for me. Next we're going to look at your eyes. So go ahead and cover one eye for me. Alright, and then cover the other eye. Excellent. And now I'm going to shine a light in your eyes. Just stare straight at me. Very good. Now I want you to focus on this pen light with your eyes and then look at the wall behind me. Then look at the pen light. And then focus on the wall behind me. Excellent. So your pupils are equal, round, reactive to light and accommodation, which is what we're testing with this pen light here. I'm just going to lift your eyelids. Your eyebrows, eyelids look normal. Sclera, conjunctive vein, iris, all within normal limits. Your sclera are white, no conjunctivitis. All right, so I'm going to take a quick look with my ophthalmoscope here. So we're going to test your red reflex. I'm just going to shine this light here. All right, very good. Look on both sides. Okay, we're going to look up close. Your optic disc is visualized with sharp margins, no exudates or erythema. We'll look on the other side. Alright, both sides are equal. Excellent. 
All right. So now we're going to test your cranial nerves. You have 12 of them, so there's going to be a little series of tests. Uh, the first one, I'm um, going to have you close your eyes. I'm going to hold something out for you to smell. I want you to tell me what you smell. Before we do this, do let me know, are you allergic to anything? No. Okay, good. Go ahead and close your eyes. Is it peppermint? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Cranial nerve one is intact. Uh, cranial nerve two is tested by your visual acuity test, which we already did outside the room. But there's a couple of other tests we're going to do as well that test both cranial nerve two and three. Um, so one of them is going to be your extraocular motion test, called the H test. I want you to follow this finger with your eyes. Don't move your head, okay? Very good. So that tests cranial nerves three, four, and six. And then I'm going to do a peripheral field of vision test. So cover one eye for me, and then tell me when you see my hand coming in your field of vision. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. See it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Very good. We're gonna do the other side. I can see it. 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 All right. I can see it. 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 Excellent. Now we're gonna test cranial nerve five, which is your facial nerve. So just tell me when you feel me touching your face. I feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Very good. And then clench your jaw for me. Relax. Clench again. Awesome. I'm going to test your sensation real quick. Tell me when you feel a soft touch on your face. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Very good. And tell me when you feel a pinprick. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Excellent. All right, now we're going to test cranial nerve seven. This is always a fun one. Go ahead and smile for me. Very good. And then show me both your top and bottom teeth. All right, frown. Puff out your cheeks. Raise your eyebrows. And then squint your eyes as tight as you can. Excellent. Good job. We're going to test cranial nerve eight next, which is your acoustic nerve. Yeah. So I'm going to whisper something in your ear. I want you to tell me what you hear. Warm. Cold. All right, very good. So the next thing is I'm going to test your gag reflex because this tells us if cranial nerves 9 and 10 are working. So go ahead and stick out your tongue for me. All right, good job. <laughs> Definitely intact. All right, we're going to test cranial nerve 11 by having you shrug up against my hands with your shoulders. Very good. And then I'm going to have you test cranial nerve 12 by sticking out your tongue, moving it side to side. And your voice and your articulation are normal as you're talking to me, so that tells me that cranial nerves 5, 7, 10, and 11 are all in good working order. So, we're going to look at your neck next. Okay. So I'm just going to look for obvious lesions, masses, abnormalities. Okay, I'm going to palpate your lymph nose. So you've got your occipital, postauricular, preauricular, tonsillar, submandibular, Submental, anterior cervical, and then both of your posterior cervical chains. And then I'm going to feel down on your collarbone. That is your supraclavicular nodes. And none of your nodes are palpable. That's good. That's a sign that you likely don't have an infection. So next I'm going to have you test the range of motion for your neck. Go ahead and tilt your chin down to your chest. And then up. Turn your head to one side and the other. And then tilt your ear down to one shoulder and the other side. Excellent. If you would, turn your head towards that wall. I'm going to listen for a carotid bruit. That's an abnormal blood flow in your carotid artery. Very good. And do on the other side. All right. So when I'm looking at your neck, I don't see any external jugular venous distension or the blood flow backing up into these veins. If we had a reclining exam table, I'd have you lay down at 45 degrees and we look to see if you had any uh, internal jugular venous distension, but we don't have that table right now, so we'll save that for another day. So I'm going to come around to the back of the table and we're going to look at your lungs now, okay? All right. So I'm inspecting your posterior thorax, everything. It's normal, no masses, obvious abnormalities. I'm going to feel, tell me if you feel any tenderness or pain. 
Everything okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to place my hands here at the tenth rib and then go ahead and take a deep breath for me. All right. So your respiratory excursion is normal. You're expanding equally on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and um, put my hands on your back. And when you feel my hands, go ahead and say the words 99 for me. 99, 99, 99, 99. Very good. That's tactile fremitus. That helps me to know the resonance of your lungs to see if there's anything inside of them that shouldn't be there. I'm going to percuss your lungs. Very good. All of your lung fields are resonant. That's what we want here. I'm just going to have a quick listen. Take some deep breaths in and out of your mouth for me. Alright, very good. All of your lung fields are clear. We don't hear any adventitious sounds. So I'm going to come around and do the same thing on the front. So I'm going to palpate for any tenderness or abnormalities. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, very good. Smell here. Okay, we'll go ahead and say 99 for me. 99, 99, 99, 99. Excellent. So, tactile fermentus is equal both sides. I'm going to go ahead and percuss you again. Alright, so all of your lung fields are resonant to percussion. That's good. Go ahead and have a listen and take some deep breaths for me. Very good. So we're going to move on to your heart. We're going to feel for your apical pulse here, which is not palpable. All right, I'm going to go ahead and listen to your heart sounds. We're going to do that with both the diaphragm and the bell of the stethoscope. The bell helps me to hear if you have any murmurs or breweries going on, abnormal blood flow. So we're going to listen at your five major heart valves. So that's your aortic. Pulmonic, second pulmonic, tricuspid, and your mitral. Alright, we listen to the bell now. All right, very good. Some heart murmurs are easier to hear when you're lying down, so I'm going to go ahead and get you to lie down for me. Let's just facing this wall. Great. We're going to listen again with you in that position. So I hear S1 and S2, which are your normal heart sounds. Uh, there's no missed beats, no clicks, murmurs, gallops, or rubs. So everything sounds good. Uh, while you're lying down, I'm going to go ahead and check all your pulses. Okay. And then we'll move on to your stomach. So we're checking your carotids. Your brachial. Your radial pulses. 
your femoral pulses. Pop a two. Posterior tibial. And your pedal pulses. Alright, all of your pulses are equal on both sides and two plus, so that's good. You go ahead and inspect your abdomen now. I apologize in advance if you're ticklish, this part might be a little <laughs> bit hard. So, uh, your abdomen looks flat. It's um, got no peristaltic waves or visible pulsations, which would be a sign that your aorta is malfunctioning. You might have an aneurysm. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and take a peek, and then we will listen in all four quadrants. Bowel sounds are normal and active in all four quadrants. I'm going to go ahead and listen for some bruise in your abdomen as well. So we're going to listen to your aorta. Alright, so no bruise noted in your aortic, renal, iliac, or femoral arteries, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and percuss your abdomen like we did with your lungs. And I'm going to percuss the span of your liver. Alright, so the span of your liver is about 6 centimeters, which is normal. I'm going to go ahead and palpate very lightly. Just tell me if you have any tenderness or pain. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. So I'm going to press a little deeper this time. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. So go ahead and take a deep breath for me and let it out. I'm going to feel for your liver right up under your rib cage. Liver is not palpable. I'm going to feel for your spleen. Your spleen is not palpable, which is good. We wouldn't expect to feel it. I'm also going to palpate for your kidneys, so I'll have to press a little bit for this one. So. Alright. And kidneys are not palpable, so that's good. We wouldn't normally feel them. And finally, I'm going to palpate for your aorta. Your aorta measures approximately two centimeters, which is good. I would expect that. All right, finally, I'm going to check your inguinal lymph nodes, the horizontal and vertical chains. Sorry, I know it's a little <laughs> hard. And then finally, we're going to do your abdominal reflex. But this will make you take wish. So I'll go ahead and warn you. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. So that's intact. All right, while you're lying down, I'm going to go ahead and check your leg function and your okay. hip range of motion. So tell me if you feel any pain or tenderness in your hips. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about your knees? Mm -hmm. Okay, ankles? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, so just lift this leg up for me. Very good. I'm going to bend it out. Bend it in. Any pain? Good. I'm going to do that on the other side. Bend it out. Alright, any pain for this? Excellent. Alright, you can go ahead and sit up for me and just swing your legs over the side. Alright, so we're going to test your upper body strength. Go ahead and raise your arms up for me. And then out to the side, like this, and then shrug out. 
Good range of motion on your shoulders. We're going to check the range of motion in your neck and your hips. So the next thing we're going to do is just feel your arms. Well muscled, even hair distribution. Feel your wrists, any pain? Mm -hmm. Good. Go ahead and grip my hands as hard as you can. Excellent. And check your capillary refill. It's less than three seconds, so good circulation. Um, go ahead and squeeze and release your fingers. Do this. Yep, don't move your elbows, just move your wrist. And then up and then down. Very good. We're going to test your strength. Put your arms up like this. Push against me. And then pull. Very, very good. So strength is five out of five in both upper extremities. And then for your legs, I want you to go ahead and kick your knees out for me. Very good. Go ahead and press out against resistance. Pull in. Very good. And then with your feet, I want you to push up against my hands. Very good. And then push down like a car pedal. Excellent. Strength five out of five in your lower extremities as well. We're going to test your sensation. So tell me if you feel a light touch. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Are you good? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
Excellent. The spinal range of motion is intact. All right. And then I'm going to come around to this other side of you. I want you to just walk forward towards the opposite wall a few steps so I can watch your gait. Good. You can stop there. Looks good. Now walk towards me on your tippy toes. Excellent. Okay. Turn the other way and walk heel to toe as if you were doing a sobriety test. Excellent. So we're just checking your coordination. That looks good. All right. The last thing I'm going to have you do is stand right here in front of you. Okay. Put your arms out to your sides. We're checking your balance. Now go ahead and close your eyes. All right. So that's called the Romberg test. It's testing your balance, and your Romberg test is negative, so that's good. Um, everything looks wonderful. Um, is there anything else I can do for you or any questions you have for me today? I don't think so. All right. Well, thank you very much. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.